As you can see, we are inside Fantasy Minecraft. This is one of the newest mod packs for Minecraft. Just came out this year, and we already have a guide on how to download and install this amazing, and it, actually I say it's amazing because look how it looks. It just looks beautiful mod pack for Minecraft. So if you wanna learn how to download and install Fantasy Minecraft, make sure you watch this video until the end, and let's get started with the tutorial. In order to download and install Fantasy Minecraft, we first have to download CurseForge. CurseForge is kind of a mod pack loader that will allow us to play many, many mod packs, not just Fantasy Minecraft, but a lot of other mod packs like Craft, Pixelmon, Cobblemon, and many, many others. Now, we have really a guide on how to download and install CurseForge and you will find that in the second link in the description. So go ahead and click on the second link. In here, feel free to read through the guide and look at the screenshots, but I'm assuming that most of you want to follow along the video. So all you have to do is scroll down and click download CurseForge here. That is going to redirect you to the CurseForge website where you're just going to click download on the little download button. And that is going to start the download automatically for the installer for CurseForge. So in my case, it's asking me where I want to save the file for you. It's just probably going to download automatically and you're going to see it on the top right if you are using using the newer version of Chrome. Once you have the file downloaded, go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. And now that we have the installer, we are ready to start. Just go ahead and double click on CurseForge. Once you double click on CurseForge, it's probably going to prompt you with the administrator sign. Go ahead and allow it to run. And then you're going to get this little menu here, the little installation menu. All you're gonna have to do is click next. Then you're going to click that you have read and accepted the terms. Click next again. Click next one more time and let CurseForge install. It should be a pretty, pretty simple and a straightforward process. And if you're following along, you shouldn't get lost. Let's go ahead and wait for CurseForge to finish, which should be really quick. And you will know CurseForge finished installing because first it will tell you in the installer, it will say something like this, successfully install. And also it's going to launch a website on the background. This little website should come up after CurseForge has finished installing. And if we close this website, you will see that we find today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. And today's sponsor is perfect for this video because Apex Hosting will actually let you create a mod pack server to play with your friends meaning that you could play fantasy minecraft with your friends using apex hosting and the craziest thing is that they're offering 25 percent off your first server with apex hosting if you use the first link in the description i wish they had that deal when i created my first server with apex hosting so if you want to take advantage of that deal use the first link in the description you could create a java bedrock server you could have mods mod packs whatever you want with Apex hosting. And now let's keep going with the guide. As you can see, CurseForge has finished. So let's go ahead and click on launch and that is going to open CurseForge. Now, since it is the first time you're launching it, it's probably going to be a little bit slower than what it is going to be for later on once you have launched it multiple times. Now, give it a second. As you can see, it says preparing for first launch. And after it opens, it's going to try and give you a little tutorial that I'm telling you, you could skip as of now because you are watching me. You are safe with me, okay? You could skip this intro here. Just go ahead and click where it says skip intro. And in here, you're going to select the game that we are modding, which in this case is Minecraft, right? We're downloading a mod pack for Minecraft. So go ahead and click Minecraft. And after you click Minecraft, you're probably gonna see an empty screen. As you can see, in my case, I have a lot of mod packs already. That is because I do tutorials and I play a lot of Minecraft. So I have a lot of mod packs, but for you, you're probably gonna see an empty screen with no mod packs at all. But don't worry, because I'm gonna show you how to get mod packs. What you're gonna do to get fantasy Minecraft is click where it says browse mod packs. That is going to redirect you over here where you could start scrolling until you see Fantasy Minecraft, but chances are it's going to take you a little while before you find it. So what you're gonna do is actually click where it says search for mod packs and type Fantasy, ooh, Fantasy Minecraft. Just go ahead and type Fantasy Minecraft and then Fantasy Minecraft should come up. It's this one right here. Make sure it says Kyver6, that is the creator of the mod pack. So once you find the official one, go ahead and click on install. Right here on the right, you could click on install and that is going to start the installation for Fantasy Minecraft. Now, keep in mind that you are downloading a mod pack that has a lot of mods. So you kind of have to give it a second. It's not going to be instantly, okay? It's not gonna be that fast. As you can see, it's 291 mods. However, if you get lost by any reason in this screen, you could always go back into your mod packs, click where it says my mod packs, and you could always see the installation in here. So you can see down here, the mod pack is installing and we could just wait and also, if you don't have many mod packs installed like I do, you're probably gonna see Fantasy Minecraft on the top, just installing there, and you could just patiently wait. And I'm actually gonna skip until the mod pack has installed. And after around a minute, as you can see, Fantasy Minecraft has already installed. Go ahead and click on play, 
right below it and that is going to open a Minecraft launcher, which is not your Minecraft launcher and mine actually open on the other screen. Let me go ahead and bring it over here. That is not your regular Minecraft launcher. I mean, it looks like it is, but it is actually a launcher that opened through Curseful. Since it is the first time you're launching it, however, it's probably going to have you log in. Don't be scared by it. It's just because you're launching the Minecraft launcher through CurseForge that is going to have you log in and it's only going to be a one-time login. After that, you're going to be able to open all your mod packs without having to log in all the time. As you can see, Fantasy Minecraft is already selected once you're already in the launcher, once you're ready to log in. We could actually go ahead and click play and see if the mod pack works. Once you click on play, if it is the first time, it's probably gonna give you this little warning. All you have to do is click that you understand and then click on play again. And the mod pack is finally loading and I decided to leave this part into the video because it literally took like two minutes for the mod pack to load. Oh my God, these mod packs are getting heavier every time. I really love when they do these little custom screens for, for the mod packs. I went ahead and click on single player. I'm going to create a world and after like another minute, of waiting the mod pack has finally launched and you actually have to select in here this is pretty cool you choose your origin for the game so i'm just gonna choose mage oh my god this is so cool so yeah you're inside the mod pack uh this is fantasy minecraft and that is pretty much how to download and install fantasy minecraft i really hope you enjoyed this video if there's any tutorial you would like to see let me know down in the comments and as always bye bye